Today <coughs> is the <coughs> happiest day for all of you, for the whole universe, because Sri Ganesha was created. He was created to emit auspiciousness through his Chaitanya. First, the whole cosmos was filled with this Chaitanya Srishti. Then Brahma Deva came into play and he created all the matter. But The greatest blessings of the divine power was to symbolize Chaitanya. And this Chaitanya has many aspects, <coughs> but especially in Sri Ganesha, it is auspiciousness. In these modern times, people have lost the sense of auspiciousness. Everything that emits aus vibrations, Chaitanya is auspicious, it's shubh. And whatever does not, is not by any chance auspicious. So first of all, whatever you worship, whatever you accept, all of them have to be auspicious things. Every shape has a coefficient, and all these shapes, which you see, <coughs> not necessarily give vibrations. But in the human beings also, we find there are many people like you who have Chaitanya flowing in them. But this Chaitanya, when it flows, we just take Sri Ganesha for granted. <clears throat> we do not understand that we have to awaken Sri Ganesha within us, means what? What we have to do? There is Sri Ganesha already existing in you, and as I said, that innocence cannot be lost, so Sri Ganesha is eternal being, eternal child, he cannot be lost and he cannot be destroyed. So he is all the time there. Maybe some clouds of your ill doings are covering the great personality of innocence. But it is always there present. <coughs> so now, what should we do to keep this Ganesha all the time? shining within us is to first remember that you were made in the same pattern as Sri Ganesh. But his Kundalini is on his stomach. His pure desire is on his stomach. It's very significant to understand why it is there that his Kundalini is on his stomach. That means he does not have to conquer the temptations of Muladhara at all. But he has his Kundalini on his stomach. That means he is also beyond the temptations of food, of power, or anything because his stomach represents absolute abandonment, absolute freedom. He is not bothered as to how he looks, that these days there is a big fashion that you cannot have a big belly. I mean, 
this is becoming a big, not only fashion, but a big business. But as age grows, you have to have. Even small children have that, and they look so sweet. Those people who are very thin must understand that they might be getting some prizes in the maybe beauty contest or something, but they do not have that majesty, that royalty, that dignity in them as they should have.